Wow, it's like looking in a mirror. I know, right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in and let's go. So, there's this new movie, Vanguard Force 10. Yes, I've seen the trailers and I had fun stunt driving on the last one. The director is insisting we all do our own stunts this time around, so I need to get good after the standard you set on the last one. Have to do your own stunts. Oof. Well, let's see what we can do. We'll go right here. E-brake, then kick the brake, and flick the back out. That's, uh... The Stockholm Slide. Bored Scandi flick, adds a bit of drama, and it's easy. So, what do you think? I think we've already started shooting, so it's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or a legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of a resemblance here, what if we don't tell anyone and... And you do the driving and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. I've... I've got a stunt coming up. Get the costume on and pretend to be me. In 100 meters... Don't sweat the dialogue, mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. We'll do. <coughs> Mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges or something. Scene 15. Downhill escape stunt sequence. Action! Right, old Victor. And um, this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well... You're the genius. Very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I look forward to seeing what our driver can do. That was Mike Steele. He does the stunt direction while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Did he buy it? He did. We can make this work.
Hey, X. Festival setup is looking pretty good, right? I don't know. I think we have a few more adventures in us. And you want to put a bow on your Hall of Fame run, right? Okay. Mike and his crew are ready for the next stunt. I snuck away to my trailer to call you. Victor thinks I'm preparing for your destination. Right. Keep it in the river along here, and upright if you can, Frankie. Scene 23. Mad Alex. Action! This is Alex's last chance. Without this vehicle, we would not be able to trigger the Dimension Portal. There will be explosions and many digital things. But the truth is in the vehicle, in the way you drive. Make me... Billy! Surface is rough through here, but push through it! Give it some! that kind of driving for years. <laughs> yes! And now through the resistance camp. Let nothing stand in your way. Wonderful, Frankie, that's amazing. You truly grasp the essence of the character. Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup? <coughs> Let's do it. <clears throat> Scene 25. One flew over Cobalt's nest. Action! Now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape, not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I've whacked a Rally V8 in that thing, so give it the guts. Barricades and ramps ahead. Keep your speed up. Hard turn onto some winding roads up ahead. Did you learn to drive like that, Frankie?
So, I have some ideas for some improvisation. We could do a scene along a beach, or around an airplane graveyard. I'm not sure which, so you choose. Along the beach? Yeah, I can think of some stunts. Turn around when it is safe to do so. You have arrived at your destination. Victor has handed this one off to me. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one! Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that, and keep away from the houses. Otherwise, there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. Kid! I mean, Frankie, sorry, don't know why I said kid there. Mike is on to us. What? No way. My sore throat story is flawless. I'll take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar, sorry, movie star can do.
Right? Right. We've got another stunt. Drop by when you have a minute. In 400 meters, turn left. Still not talking, eh, Frankie? What a surprise. Let's get on with it. Improv scene! Search scene! Action! <laughs> yeah, so the search is part of the flashback in Act 3. The script is something. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Just throw the car around a bit or something? <laughs> huh? I haven't seen driving like that since... Well, anyway... Slam the route and improvise with your car. <laughs> Stick to the runway, Tarmac. That's where we have the best camera coverage. <laughs> Frankie, mate, you'll have to put me in touch with your driving instructor. I think he might be on to us. Yeah, we'll have to dial it back a little. Should I tell Victor is really behind the wheel? Kidding, Frankie, I'm just kidding. arrived at your destination.
Well, well, well. If it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. Uh, Mike. Glad you're here. How do you like this dummy the art department made? It's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. But if you're going to keep Victor in the dark, you'll need my help. It's good to have you on board with this, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Scene 43. Time travel volcano jump. Action! Uh, Mike, did you just say volcano jump? Come on now, kid. I saw the opening ceremony. Hammer it up the hill, kid. That stunt vehicle is a Mike Steel Special. Custom engine and suspension. Why? It's nice to have a real driver at the wheel. I heard that. Frankie? Brilliant! Well done! But we keep this between us, yeah? No need for Victor to know. Hey there, kid. We've got a new stunt set up. Drop by when you can. Hey there, Frankie. Uh, no, no, don't talk. We have to protect that nice, bankable accent of yours. Get in the car. I'll explain the stunt as we go. Scene 68. Dr. Strangeguard. Action! Careful up ahead. Watch the turn. Hang on there, I'm in here too! on the phone. Keep it tight, kid. Victor! Senor Steel, Frankie's driving is exceptional as always, but uh, why did I just catch a glimpse of another Frankie relaxing in her trailer with a mug of lemon tea? Oh, uh, that was a dummy. It was a stunt dummy. Gotta go, Victor. Bye! Hey! I always have a role in the movies I make. 
I was Pursuit Beast number two in the one we made in the UK. The one that ran into the wall? I love that bit. Very funny, Captain Silent Protagonist. Now drive. Nicely done. It's good to be working with you again, Frankie. Oh, too close by half. Let's get this done. The director was asking why I'm not doing my lines in the stunt sequences. Don't worry about it, Frankie. I'll cover for you. Hey, kid! You ready for the next set? Sure. What's the stunt? Scene 95! Highway escape! Action! Talk me through this. What am I doing? So, it's a race, basically. Gotta outrun the pursuit car. I can explain, Mike. And that is an excellent accent, Frankie. Uh, you have hidden depths. This is an escape, of course. The self-replicating control system is intent on stopping you. It has commandeered a pursuit vehicle. You must escape it. I if it helps, imagine the pursuit vehicle has a number of hilarious lines of dialogue. Perhaps even emerging as the true star of this movie. You voicing it, I bet. Well done. This is gonna look great. And there we go. That's done. Only one more stunt to do. I'll call you when we're set up. Right. This is the last shot we need to get. Should be easy. What could go wrong? Scene 107. Data offload stunt sequence. Action! <laughs> right. We've got other stunt drivers in traffic vehicles. Dodge and weave. And get to the destination as quick as you can. <laughs>
And this is where we bring the pieces together. Past, present, future, messages and themes come across the franchise coming together, but not resolved. Never resolved. Don't worry about all that past, present theme stuff. Let's just get this done before he rumbles us. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. Destination now. Just get there. There we go. Cut and print it there. Stunt units are wrapped on Vanguard Force 10. It's up to Victor in the editing booth now. He's not the type of director to change his mind or ask for reshoots or anything like that. Right? There's a new scene. Apparently, we need to take advantage of the presence of a major cultural event to root the story in the zeitgeist. Uh, zeit what now? Get in the car, kid. I'll explain. Scene 103. Uh, something at the festival. Floor it, kid! Straight through the festival! Hit the jumps! Apparently the scene's got to go right through the middle of a race or something. Tell Scott Tyler not to flop his lines this time. Wait, we're putting the festival in a movie? And Scott Tyler's got lines? That's right, kid. Up through here. Head for the ramp. Cue the drivers. Cue Scott. We have got another vehicle on the track, ladies and gentlemen. Pause. What is going on? I had no idea that was going to happen. We, uh, let him write his own lines. Here we go. There's cars coming the other way, so watch it. That was close. What now? This is very improvised. Keep the speed up. Victor wanted Frankie to drive this. Go. That has to be enough for him, right?
Hey there. So, I just got off the phone with the director, and he wants one more stunt. And not just any stunt. He wants me to jump clear across the bay, being chased by a cargo plane. And there's dialogue all over it, so no driver swapping. I think it's time we fessed up to Victor. Hang on. If we can't swap drivers, why don't we swap cars? With one waiting in the motorway tunnel. Right. I need props and another hero car. Do we even have another hero car? Yes, we do! The one that was too fast for anyone to drive! I'll get it ready over at the bridge. Scene 117. One take. Action! I'll do the first section, and you take over at the tunnel. We can do this, Frankie. Just... Drive casual. Now, Frankie, it is time. We must close the loop, combine the dimensions, and transform this conflict into art. I've got a bad feeling about this. See, see, you are being torn apart from the inside. It's almost as if there is another Alex Cobalt straining, fighting to take control. Understand? Uh, and fine. Go, go, quick. It's your time to shine. The plane's spinning up. Get to the airfield. Go, go, go! The car's a bit of a handful. This is the high power one Victor asked for, but we never used, so, uh, enjoy? Whoa! This thing can move. Uh, we need a line here, I think. Uh, Frankie, could you improvise something for me, please? Um, I have to return to the future. Si, si, muy bien. You capture the conflict perfectly. Now, right turn and follow the plane over the jump. The stunt driver learned to talk, Frankie. You're out of a job. Um, not bad. I mean, I have a few notes. What Frankie said, just hit that jump and not the play. I love my life. from watching the feeds. Amazing work. Great driving. And, I mean, reasonable acting, too. Right, this is a post credit scene. And according to the call sheet, Victor wants... Uh... Both of you. 
both of us. He doesn't know I exist, right? Scene 121A. The two Alexes. Action! Hey, what do you say we make this one real? Oh, you know it. See you at the finish line! Ah, yes. This is what we have been working toward. The within made manifest. The conflict real. The outcome unknowable. My greatest work. The clever was it. And that, with any luck, is definitely, positively, a wrap. So, Victor's asked me to join his remake of Rendezvous. Turns out he saw the thing we did in Edinburgh. It's a huge opportunity. And all thanks to you, kid. No way, Mike. You earn this. I hope we get to work together again. Actually, you know, I've got a project. About two twins who fight crime. In cars. I'm in. Tell me more. <laughs>